When evening came, his disciples went down to the lake, where they got into a boat and set off across the lake for Capernaum. By now it was dark, and Jesus had not yet joined them. A strong wind was blowing, and the waters grew rough. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus approaching the boat, walking on the water, and they were frightened. But he said to them, It is I. Don't be afraid. Then they were willing to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the shore where they were heading. When we think of God's presence, we often expect grand signs and displays of power, as if only they could confirm his actions in our lives. We would love to see Jesus walking towards us, for example, across the waves of a turbulent Baltic Sea. Yet what truly speaks to our hearts often takes place in the quiet of everyday life, in the eye of the small and large cyclones of our lives. Take an example from the Gospel according to St. John, where the disciples, left to themselves, must face darkness, winds and high waves in the middle of the night. In such a situation, when to make matters worse, a mysterious apparition approaches, it seems that everything loses meaning and the situation becomes hopeless. It is then, at the least expected moment, that Jesus appears. His entrance onto the scene defies logic and the laws of physics, but brings a profound message. It is I. Do not be afraid. These words act like an anchor stabilizing the shaky boat of our lives. They are not just an assurance of his physical presence, but above all, a call to deepen our trust and faith. Walking on the waters of the lake, Jesus not only revealed his divinity, but also brought peace and a sense of security to the disciples. It is a promise also for us that there is no storm in our lives that he could not calm. In the book of Job, we read about God, who alone stretched out the heavens and walked upon the waves of the sea. This same confession applies to Jesus on the lake, showing him as the almighty Lord who reigns over the elements. It is I. These words are not just comforting, but also a powerful declaration of his eternal and unwavering presence. Do not be afraid. This call to cast away fear may seem difficult to enact. Yet it is with these words that Jesus invites us to a life that boldly faces all adversities with his presence and support. May today's words of the gospel be a reminder for us that God is always with us, even in the most challenging moments of our lives. His love and power are stronger than the darkest nights of our fears. There is no storm he could not quiet, nor a problem he could not solve. Jesus invites us to trust his guidance even when the waters are rough and the boat far from shore. May God bless us all.